Jerry and I have been talking about building a coal frame for years. Between us we have three greenhouses, but no way of really hardening produce off. In true allotment garden style, Jerry's acquired all these timbers, and we've also found an old shower door that make a brilliant top. So today we're going to make a very simple coal frame to help us harden produce off. The most important place to start with any coal frame is the top, and any clear top will do. Um, the best is always the free stuff. This, this is an old shower door, very heavy shower door, so we're going to have to build that into the design. But all we really want is something very simple to help us harden things off. So uh, that's our starting point, and we'll build the frame to these measurements. You know, some wearing these very funky glasses. We haven't got any safety goggles, but we're using this, and stuff is spraying everywhere, so quite important. But all we're doing now is cutting straight edges on all these bits of wood because of course Jerry's uh, recycling speciality is to find stuff that isn't straight um, and then we can measure and get on and uh, cut the right size for the frame. It's far too thick to do it in one go, so we're just... And too wet. And too wet, so we're just doing it in multiple cuts. We are of course measuring twice, cutting once. Certainly am after Jerry spotted my first mistake, so I won't be doing that again. Now we've cut the timber all to size, all based on the size of the shower door. Now what we're doing here is a, an allotment gardener coal frame, not the sort of thing you buy in store. Now typically a coal frame will have a sloping side, south facing, that you can open as a vent. Now the shower door that we're using is extremely heavy, and actually we don't particularly need that for our purposes, we're simply using this to harden off. So what we've done is we've built these extensions down here and the shower door can simply be slide, slide, slid down onto these for ventilation during the day and slid back during the evening um, and this will be absolutely fine. Just fixing the frame together with these angle brackets. Now these aren't going to be strong enough to hold the frame in one piece but we're doing the two layers, we're fixing both those together, we'll strengthen it with some screws down the side as well. But these are a good way of just maintaining rigidity. Now these are the only bit that we've spent any money on on this, but they're not that expensive compared to the cost of the coal frame. Here you can see the brackets where they are in place. Quite simple, just a couple of brackets to give it nice support. Okay, we're nearly there. What we've done is we put it all together, we put the glass on top and we just decided we're going to support it underneath so that there's no danger of the glass sliding over, falling down. Uh, probably wouldn't break if it did fall, it's so thick. But as you can see, the allotment gardener's coal frame is well underway. That's the last screw in. So let's get the battens on and put this together. Well that's all the battens in place. We've got some supporting battens here. We've got some battens here which make it a little bit narrower so there's no chance of falling off the end. And we've put a batten at the back and on the inside so it can't come back any further. All we've got to do now is move it to its final resting place and then get some growing going on so we can fill it up.